Hey, it's Tim. Got a 2012 Ford Fiesta. Gonna do a radiator in it. The radiator's leaking pretty bad. So, you're gonna take all this off right here in the front, just the front clip, and you gotta have a bunch of push plastic things. Like this is gonna come off. And I'm gonna pull this air cleaner off first, and then we'll start getting the things. It's a T25. I got this breather here. Let's undo your mass airflow sensor. Try to undo your hoses. Just to get everything out of your way that you can. It's the best thing I do. So all your hoses that are on the uh, breather here, just kind of pick them off. You can loosen up your one that's on the uh, throttle body there. Kinda, when you're undoing all these plastic lines, just be careful and be, you know, be wary because they're all plastic. Here. Breather off. And these just pull out, so of course you've got a little thing hooked on the back here, you'll have to twist it and squeeze it. To, uh, take it off, a little plastic thing right here. Kind of squeeze it. It's a little plastic piece right here. Just kind of tuck it out of your way back there. And so you got some room back here. And you got your thing for your transmission vent. Just kind of pull it off. God darn. This radio ain't even hooked up. Mm -mm -mm. Got a vent for your transmission, just kind of push that out, pull that up, push it out of the way. This thing don't have a uh, drain, so you'll have to drain it from the bottom, just under your bottom hose. Okay, this is underneath it. Now, while I'm underneath here, I'm going to show you your, uh, get all your clips out of your fan right there, there, and unplug it while you're under here. Now, you're going to have to undo this condenser. You got two clips right here. I'll show you in a minute. But you're going to pull your fan out from the bottom. We're going to take this hose off first real quick and drain it that way. But these, this metal piece right here and this right here, pop that radiator just kind of push that in and that'll separate it the condenser from the uh, radiator all right i got the clamp off so just kind of pull it this one probably ain't got much in it but since it was leaking so bad straight water okay you will have to You'll go through here and pop this little piece off. It's just not up underneath here. And uh, you got two of them. You got one here, one here. This one's been wrecked, so this might not be out like yours. Like I said, this goes right here. It's got a little clip. You just push down on it, pop that out. You got another one here, but this one, it's not even hooked to anything, so. I don't know. I'm gonna remove a little bit of this trim up here at the top. This one, I think this one. Yeah, just kind of remove that little clip right here and you'll have enough room uh, to uh, push this out like this. 
Well, this one wasn't even hooked up, so I'm gonna try to do the new one. Up in here, I don't know if I can since how this has been wrecked in the front. Uh, they got a piece of wire and everything else, so we'll see. But just pop your little thing off of here. That one ain't on, like I said, so I'll put that one right there. And then we're going to uh, drop the fan out from the top, which you got these clips right here. So I'm going to show you these right here. Pull up on these right here. Pull up on that one. Just kind of pull it out. top hose when you do it here try not to break the clips like i did i'll have to fix that but you know it's old and it's hot it's plastic it's gonna happen i don't know why new cars insist on having plastic on uh things that get hot That's the top hose. Just kind of tuck it out of your way. And then kind of just pull up on this. You'll pull up and get it off the bottom. And then just drop it down. Kind of unplug everything. Don't go underneath and unplug it. Okay, once you get it all unpopped and all your uh Everything unplugged and all that stuff, just kind of make sure it's out of the bottom there. Just pull it on down. Oh. And like I said, on the radiator, we we'll have to push this these two metal pieces right here off the uh, condenser. All right. Well, I hope you have more luck with me than I do. These plastic clips, this one even broke. So I have to fix that. This is the only one that stayed on or all of them. So. No, it's plastic. So I have to fix that. But that's how you get it off. Do it like that. Then you're going to go up here. And. Put you down. We should be able to. Uh, Uh, we can finagle it. I go in from the, just take it down from the bottom. Heck with it. Why fight with it? So, I'm gonna fix these clips and this thing's been wrecked. I'm gonna have to fix the fan too. It's like the fan's been broke, been hit. So, you probably won't have to do all that, but just make sure you push these through, these two holes right here. And uh, then pick it up from the bottom. Put your condenser back in here. And then when I get the new one, it's supposed to be coming in FedEx. All right, I'm gonna start filling it with uh, antifreeze and uh, check it and everything. Yours probably won't be like this one. This one I had to uh, manipulate because it's been hit. They said he hit an armadillo. I'm not sure. But yours, I had to put some zip ties here and this and that and the other because all the plastic is cracked. So yours might be a little bit easier to reassemble than this one. But that's basically why, why I showed you. And, uh, and then I showed you how to add antifreeze and make sure you don't get no air in it. Well, it's been at about 190, 189. Doing really good. No leaks. Always check your heater too. You know you got all the air out when your heater works. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, come on. Another one done at Tim's Auto.